I want to go real big, all the way to 100. I'm looking for the inverse. I'm looking for the tangent of the sine inverse of u. Yeah, this is the abstract version of the inverse trigonometric functions, at least evaluating them. And you're going to need this when you do trig sub integration. Just got to give my trig sub. And this is how you would complete the last part of that. Sure. Let me just take this over here. The sine inverse of u over 1. That's our theta, and it defines our triangle. Our sine is our opposite over our hypotenuse. That's why I put my u opposite our angle theta and our hypotenuse 1, because u over 1 is the same as u. All right. So then why not just call this side dub? I should use f. What the F? We're trying to find out what dub is. So we use the Pythagorean. We solve that for dub. And we see that dub is going to be plus and minus. Why? Because whenever you take the square root of both sides, you're not going to forget the plus and minus. 1 minus u squared. So let me just write that there. Plus or minus. How are you going to determine the plus or the minus? It depends on where you are at. It depends on what side of the, I don't know, unit circle? You? <laughs> to determine whether or not that tangent, because that's triangle theta. So we're trying to find the tangent of theta, but we have our triangle, and our tangent is our OPP divided by our ADJ. It's our opposite divided by our adjacent. So I'm going to write my opposite over my adjacent, and I'm going to put the plus and minus, and I'm going to determine out where that is, depending on what the inverse sine of U is. Box and flower, it's black flower, like your heart. <laughs>